if you are not a into spiritual things, you might want to um, stop watching now. Um, but I just wanted to share with everyone, um, you know, Jesus is the reason for the season. And it it is just something very precious um, that that God would give his only son for for us. He was born on that day because God loved the world so much and wanted to save everyone uh, from their sins. And um, so he gave us Jesus. And um, one of the things that I like to think about is that not only did Jesus was Jesus born and died, but in the 30 years or 33 years of his life, he showed us how to live. He gave us the Bible. Many, you know, many people say, oh, it's who, you know, who wrote that and blah, blah, blah. We don't really know. Uh, some people choose to believe only parts of the Bible and not the others, or maybe the Old Testament or just the New Testament. But if you read the Gospels, he told us how to live. Uh, the word Bible itself, uh, the what's the acronym? I think it's called is Basic Instructions Before Leaving Earth. <laughs> and so I like to, that's what I like to think about is not only was he born under, you know, the miraculous circumstances that he was born under, but that he came to give us life and he came to show us how to live. Um, and I think that that is just really awesome. And, um, and it, and if you did watch it, if you did watch this whole video and you're not a, a spiritual person, I just want to say this, I'm not trying to preach to anybody and I am by no means perfect, but I will say this. People might say that being a Christian or believing in God or the Bible or whatever is like a crutch, but let me tell you something. If I did not have something to hope in, and Jesus, it, to me, is the, he is the perfect example of hope. He represents hope to me. And if I did not have that, as much as I have suffered in life, I might as well kill myself. I might as well just die if I didn't have something to hope in. If I didn't believe that there was a higher power that can help me in this life. If I didn't have that, then honestly, I would have no reason to live. And again, I'm not preaching to anybody. I'm not telling anybody how to live. Um, but I need that in my life. And um, so, you know, that's what I like to think about. Jesus is hope to me and to many other people. And um, without that, I honestly feel like there's nothing to live for. If I couldn't hope in something higher than me, something, if I couldn't believe in something more powerful than myself, because I cannot control the things I have in this world. But I can believe that God is there to help me or that Jesus is, is there to help me, you know? So, you know, and, and another thing about uh, Jesus, and maybe I should be waiting for Easter to say this, but, you know, he didn't condemn people. He, um, the woman who was caught in adultery, do you know that if a woman committed adultery, she was put to death, but the guy, they left him alone. Um, but when they brought to him the women who committed adultery, he said, he who is without sin cast the first stone. And none of us are perfect. And everybody walked away and asked her, where are your accusers? She said, your accusers. And she said, they're gone. And he says, you know, and, you know, go and sin no more. So, um... I believe that Jesus liberated people. Um, so, you know, I, that I feel liberated. I feel, um, I just need that in my life. I need that belief in my life. So 
Anyway, <laughs> again, this was really meant for Christians because I'm not trying to preach and I'm not trying to change anybody. That's not my job. I can only share it with the truth or what I believe. Uh, the truths that I believe, let me put it that way. Um, but I can't change anybody and I'm not out to change anybody. And as I said, I love everyone and I love you all, all of my subscribers. You know, I'm not trying to change you. I'm just telling you why I'm a Christian and what works for me. So I love all of you the same, whether you're Catholic or Protestant, whatever you believe in, I love you all. And I can say that from the bottom of my heart. And, um, you know, I love people. Again, I've said this far, as long as you're not hurting anybody, you know, you're out, not out there being a pedophile and, you know, so on and so forth, then I don't have a problem with you. So, you know, you're not out there raping, you know, killing, you know, doing bad things to other people, then I don't have a problem with you. And so I just wanted to share that with you. I love you all and have a very, very Merry Christmas. And um, in case you want to know, the makeup that I'm wearing today is the same thing I wore for the, um, um, the breast cancer awareness video, <clears throat> except that I added a royal purple to it from the Ben Nye palette. So I did everything exactly the same. And, um, well, purple, that's all I did different. Um, and then I just grabbed the first lipstick I could find, a berry lipstick I could find. So, anyway, okay, so, bye, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, my love to you all.